Good morning. How are you guys? It's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. And I am making sure my tech is working today. And as you can see by my, um, oh, there it is. It's working. It's such a relief when um, things on Facebook work because they're always changing. All right. So I have got a couple of things I want to tell you guys about. Actually, one big thing I want to tell you about that's happening today at 1.30. And that's why I've got all my, my quilty stuff out here. And then we're going to finish our sweet little um, Valentine ornaments. So not sure if you know, occasionally I will post pictures of my quilt. I am a quilter and I better close up this pen because I don't want to get ink on my, my stuff. But like a lot of creatives, I've got my hands in a lot of different pots. I knit, I crochet, I quilt, I sew. And I've been quilting, man, since I was, I remember I was, I had had my twins when I was 27, and I remember I needed to get out of the house and do something, and I joined a little um, quilting guild, and this was in New York, and I became a like serious quilter. And as you can see, it's the stuff that I do most of the time. Hey, Joni, Joni, I'm so excited to tell you guys about this. Um, thing that I'm going to be doing, this workshop that I'm going to be doing today. Joni, do you, do you sew anything? I bet you do. Joni, you guys, is, she's on with me now, with us now. She's from the Weathered wing, Wings, and she is so talented. And by the way, really quick, join the Painted Cottage Facebook group because our um, workshop collab is coming up on the 29th. But, um... Anyway, I bet Joni sews and does other stuff too. She's super talented. So all of this stuff, this is all called paper piecing. It's called English paper piecing. And this is all my, um, it's Liberty of London. I'm putting together this ridiculously, <laughs> it's turning into this kind of bulky quilt, but I want it to be a big quilt. And I also have some, I'll show you my, um, these stars. Right, and you can see my basting stitches there, but I am a hand piecer. I love sewing by hand. And one of the reasons I love sewing by hand is that I am not the best with my machine. And it's definitely something I want to improve, but I get, I, I kind of get intimidated. Here's a little um, quilt that I did years ago. And this is all hand piece. So that means it's hand sewn and hand quilted. And I am taking a workshop today. It's a free workshop, you guys. Oh, Joni used to sew a little and not quilting. Not quilting yet, Joni. I bet I'm going to get you started um, because you, Joni makes these really beautiful pieces of art and so much of her design could be translated into like an applique um, quilt. Like Joni... That bicycle you have with all those flowers in the basket would be absolutely exquisite as a quilt. Thank you, Joni. I, I love to sew. I really do. But I want to get back to Manon's um, workshop. That is today at 1.30. And what it is is how to pick fabrics for a quilt. A big, big thing and a, where a lot of quilters get stuck is picking out fabrics like scale, color, pattern, you know, what's going to make the most out of that pattern. And you know what, you guys, it's very much like crafting with paint and mold. What paints are going to look good together? What pattern should I use? And um, I even intend to start using some of my Iron Orchid stamps on fabric stamp the fabric, set it, 
and then sew them into some applique designs. And I've got the sketches. Isn't Manon great, Joni? So Manon is giving a workshop today and it's all about choosing those fabrics. How do you do it? It's a free workshop. It's at 1.30 today. The name of her um, company is Mom and Me Quilting Company. And Manon is a master. She looks really young, you guys. She looks like she's 20, but she's been quilting, I think, for over 25 years, and she is a master. And what I'm interested in taking after the free class today, which I can't wait, and I hope you guys join me over there, is um, uh, her. she's going to be doing a master class on making a quilt. Everything you know to me to know to make a quilt, a machine piece quilt. And that's what I'm getting at. I get very, very nervous when I'm working with my machine because it's it's all about precision. And there's ways to do it. And I'm like, she's the one who's going to teach me how to do it. Because I really, I want to master that. So I don't, what happens with me with my machine quilting is I end up pick, picking really simple blocks. Not like these, you know, more complex blocks. Because I don't know how to piece them on a machine. So that's what Mom and Me Quilting is really amazing at. She has a membership. She gives master classes and she has this free class today at 1.30. So definitely join me. And I'm actually going to see if I can't share that right now. Um, let's see. Manon, it's Mom and Me Quilting. There we go. And there we go. Share to, actually, to a page. Joni, maybe you know how to share the link in below this live. That would be fabulous. And I'm also going to share it right to my Surface Anthology page. So for you quilters or people that want to get into quilting, join me at 1.30 today in Manon's It's Mom and Me Quilting um, free workshop at 1.30. And it'll be fun. It'll be um, a taste of what Manon knows. And she knows a lot. And it's going to help me to pick some fabrics because I have collections of fabrics, you know, as any crafter. If you knit, you collect yarn. If you um, sew, it's fabric. And, you know, right, Joni? It's like, oh, my God, we have the, the biggest stashes. So join me there at 1.30. All right, you guys. Now to our little heart ornaments, which have evolved, let me tell you. <laughs> so what I want to do is we're gonna start with this one. So I made these three little lock and key. Farm, right? Farm, oh my God, Kim's on. Hi, Kim. Kim. <laughs> we do hoard. Kim just lays it out the way it is. It's true, Kim. It's such, oh my God, it's such a problem. I told men on the other day, my thread alone for quilting, it's like ridiculous. I'm never going to use it in a lifetime. I would have to live a thousand years, you know? <laughs> so here's my little heart. And I decided I was going to stack them up. And then I didn't want that. I was playing around. I was moving this little key. And I kind of like it like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this key down. And I've got my tight bond and my paper. You guys know I use my paper as a palette or I'll have an actual little cardboard palette. <laughs> it's a stash. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Kim. By the way, you guys, Kim is from Farmhouse Craftaholics and a holics is a good word for what, what we do. It is. It's a stash. I've got, I've got, my husband says I have it stashed all over the house, including the basement now. <laughs> but it makes me so happy to go look at my stash. And like with these little ornaments, I was, ooh, look what I could add. 
you know, I went over to all my, I call them all my little doodads. And I'm like, what can I add from my doodad collection? <laughs> all right. So I just put some glue on the back of that key and I'm just pressing that down. Now remember, this one's completely dry, so it's not gonna flex. So I'm gonna need to really, this might be where you use um, a glue gun. That might have been a better choice for me. Okay, we'll let this set a little. But I, I like the design that that created, the three things, and I'm actually really loving the white on this, this deep, uh, cool red color. I really, I really love that. I dig it. So I'm going to put my, always put your brush in some water. And now let's move over. Where's my other one? Here it is. Now this one's a little bit wonky. Oh, thanks, Joni. Joni just put in the link for Manon's free workshop today. So definitely check it out and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to learn a lot. All right. So here's my next little heart. And I made this little, and actually, you know what? Speaking, I make these little molds sometimes. And, I, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to need this. I might have a little extra clay, so I make some extra ones. Maybe I'll put this down. There you go. How's that? Joni, a Valentine's tree. Oh, my God. You know what? That I don't have a Valentine's tree. How beautiful would that be? Oh my goodness. I would love to actually have like a tabletop Valentine's tree. I have a love seat in my living room with a table behind it, like a console table, and to have a tree with little Valentines. Okay, now you got me thinking. And I think I think my grandson would love that. Oh, you guys, when you hang out with these talented crafters, they always have piles of really good ideas. But, you know, why not? And that would be so happy to walk into the room and see that. Joni, do you have a Valentine's tray? I bet you do. Joni has got this beautiful home. The cutest dog, Jazzy. Oh. All right, so that's something I'm going to have to do. I'm gluing this um, crown down. I really like how this one looks. So I am blobbing on the tight bond. And I'm pressing that down. Just like that. And you know what's really neat too? Because I let this dry before, so it's not absolutely flat. It's got a little bit of a 3D effect. And that would look great on our Valentine's tree. <laughs> oh my God, that is the best. All right, next thing I wanna do is I think I wanna put some glitter. So now we're gonna move that idea aside. And let's see how this is, this looks good. So I'm gonna use my clear glitter, my snow glitter. Now, Joni and I, and probably Kim too, Kim is, by the way, from Farmhouse Craftaholics, you guys, check her out. She's, she's the one who taught me how to make a bow, because I have no, oh my God. And Kim, I'm going to be trying to make a bow today. I might skip it, because you're the master of making bows, but she is able to kind of um, make things so that they're easy understandable and really beautiful at the same time. Like it doesn't need to be complicated to look good. All right, you guys, I'm using my Elmer's glue. Get this out of the way because I'm gluing it down to my table. And I'm using German glass glitter. And this one, I call it snow. I mixed um, two different grits of glitter like a coarser one, a finer one, and I also put some mica flakes in there. So um, that's what I'm gonna be using. Get my brush out of here, dry it off. And do this over a plate. German glass glitter is beautiful. 
it's more pricey, so you don't want to waste your glitter. The plate will catch everything, and then you could just dump it right back into um, into the bag. Don't be afeard. <laughs> Oh my God, Kim, you take the fear out of that stuff. Oh, I mean, you guys, have you ever tried to wrap a beautiful gift and you get to the bone? It's like, oh no, how do I do this? And you start to crush your ribbon and it's like, oh, it just gets really, really frustrating. Something as simple as that. So Kim, you're, you're the best. If, you, if I didn't watch you do it, I wouldn't know how to do it. And I'm a lefty, you guys, and I was able to translate what Kim was doing for a lefty because it's kind of, you did an ambidextrous, um, you know, tutorial the way you did it. Yeah, that's your motto, right, Kim? <laughs> oh, I miss getting together and when I was a, when, when I was uh, in a quilt guild, getting together with my quilting friends. And let me tell you guys, I was in my 20s and I thought they were all really old. They were probably in their 40s. And I was like, oh, I get together with these old ladies. And they were not old, but you know how you are when you're in your 20s. But we used to laugh and we would go to these quilt shows all over Ohio, Kentucky. And it was a blast. I used to drag my machine around. All right, so I just brushed on my Elmer's glue, popped that into the water. Oh, and I didn't bring my spoon, but we'll just use, I'll use my fingers. You guys, you have to be, you do serve, lefties and righties alike, right? Kim, we all do, right? We serve those <laughs> lefties and righties. <laughs> So you guys, when you're using German glass glitter, and uh, Joni will tell you this, you have to be careful. It's glass. This isn't for little kids. So you don't want to, um, don't do what I do. Do as I say. I usually have my spoon and I sprinkle it that way. So this time I'm just going to, and I'm going to cover up my glue here so I don't sprinkle it in there. I'm just going to use my fingers very carefully and I'm going to Sprinkle that glitter right on there. And sometimes if I really want great adhesion, I'll tap my finger on top. And then you just tap off the excess glitter. And there it is. Can, I hope you guys can see that sparkle. But it's really, really beautiful. And I think that's all I'm going to do as far as... I was going to bring out... <laughs> Kim. <laughs> we don't discriminate. All crafters are welcome. You know? Absolutely. Lefties and righties alike. Oh, you guys are killing me. Um... So the glue adds a little bit of, of opaqueness. When that dries, this will really be super sparkly, but it's hard to see it, I think, with the lights, but it's beautiful in person. So there's that one. Now, let's go over to our little crown heart, and I love these little birds. These are the Iron Orchid molds. And they are the best. All right, well, let me grab my Elmer's. And yeah, my Elmer's is in a jar because it kind of exploded. And we were able to turn it over and found this gelato jar to put it in. <laughs> so we didn't waste it because I hate wasting products. All right, I'm brushing this all over. Everywhere I want that glitter. And I gotta get these little birds. They're so super cute. And of course, the little heart at the bottom. And if you add, you know, put your glitter on 
and you don't think it's enough, wait for it to dry and then just tap in more glue and you can just add more glitter. More glitter is always better. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just gonna dump that on. And tap it off. Oh, and somehow I got glue on the side of this. Take that off. And look at how pretty that is. Now the last step, and then we're done with these cute little ornaments, is how to hang them. And now Joni has the, put this bug in my ear. I have to have a Valentine's tree. And I would, I really want to do that. I think it would be so pretty. Imagine doing little red and white garland beads around it. Oh my God. And I love, love, love the color red. So what I found in my hoard or my stash, right, Kim, is white wire. And I'm, and as I said, I'm loving the kind of white and red. So I just took some of this wire and I cut it to the length I want. You don't have to be really, you know, exact. And I'm just gonna push it through from the back, right in that hole there. And these little hearts, I don't know where I got them. They're just like the little plywood um, cutouts. And you don't have to use a heart shape. You could paint a heart shape on like a square. All right, and do the same thing on this side. I'm being careful because the glue and the glitter are wet. You guys should wait for it to dry. All right, and then we spin it like that. So there we have our little hanger. And then I found these little, they look like little, what do they call them? Millinery flowers that they used to use in hats in my stash. And I thought they'd be really pretty. So they're wires, so I kind of fluffed them up. And then I'm just going to say, I want them, I placed it. I want it to kind of come down like that. So I just hold it there and then take that wire, same thing, and spin it around, twist it around. And then come down so I get the base of the flowers attached just like that right how sweet is that and then one last thing <laughs> oh thanks Kim thanks for sharing Kim is the best this I belong to a group of crafters artists really who are absolutely the most generous wonderful people and as you can see they make me laugh and I love to laugh for sure. All right, so I've got this blue ribbon and I love this pale, pale blue with a deep dark red like this. I've always loved that. All I'm doing is taking it and just tying it around. And then I bring this over like that. So how pretty is that? And I think it will look, hi Teresa, thanks for joining us. We're making, we're laughing and making some Valentine's ornaments today. But look at how pretty that is. And that would look gorgeous on a package, on a bottle of good red wine for that special Valentine. But, and, I, and on our, of course, Valentine tray. So I'm going to do the same thing to this, but I'm gonna wait for this one to dry because that, that crown, I don't want it to move around. But this is super easy and somebody asked me, I'll show you what this ribbon is. It's called seam binding, right? Thank you, Teresa. I'm having fun too making these. This is called seam binding and I, I use it a lot because I think it has kind of an an old look, an, an antique or vintage look to it, and it's it's rayon. It's really easy to tie, and it doesn't stick out. It kind of just 
falls. So that's what that ribbon is. It comes in a rainbow of colors. It's unbelievable. So that's it, you guys. Make sure two things. Join us in the Painted Cottage Facebook group for our workshop collab that's coming up. More importantly, because it's today at 1.30, is join me um, in Manon's group, her, a free workshop. It's Mom and Me Quilting. We put the link below, and it's at 1.30 today, and we're going to learn all about picking out fabrics for our quilts. And then I'm hoping to stick with Manon because I know she's coming up with a master class. She's got a membership, but I really, really want to learn how to machine piece a quilt and not always sticking with, you know, super simple. I want to not be afraid of my machine anymore. And I think Manon's the girl for me. Oh, Lorraine, thanks for coming. I, I'm so glad you like them. What I'll do after is I'll finish these and I'll take some pictures of them and post them on my Surface Anthology page. All right, you guys, I'll see you over at 1.30 in Manon's free workshop. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Happy, happy crafting and happy painting. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.